Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Allman. My name is Pastor Dave Allman, and uh, I was a senior pastor at Peace Lutheran Church in Arvada for about 25 years. And a lot of these folks I've taken on tours before. And every time I take folks on a tour, I share the word of God, especially in the, probably in the context that we're in. And so tomorrow we're gonna be going to Niagara Falls, right? And Niagara Falls, I think there's many words that you can use to describe Niagara Falls. It's amazing, it's wonderful, but I want you to really think about as you see the falls and you hear the thunder of it and the clapping of it and the clouds are around and it's an incredible visual and it's amazing to see. I want you to think about this word, awesome. And I think that's the word that many of us will use when we see that for the first time for many of us tomorrow. Now, I want to go off track a little bit and ask you this question. When Jesus Christ appeared the very first time, when he came to planet Earth 2,000 years ago, what did people say about him if he walked in a room? Let's say we're back 2,000 years and we're sitting around uh, eating at uh, Texas Roadhouse, you know, and all of a sudden Jesus, the Son of God, the Son of Nazareth, walked in. What would we say? Do you think we'd say, wow, what an amazing guy. What an incredible guy. Look at that guy. He must be the son of God. The book of Isaiah tells us that when he appeared the first time, he was just a normal looking dude. On a scale of one to 10, he was probably a five. He wasn't a Tom Cruise, a Tom Selleck. I'm showing my age. Tom Selleck is probably a five now, okay? So, but he wasn't that, right? He was just an everyday, normal looking guy. You would not look at him and say, oh my goodness, there's the Son of God, there's the Savior of the world, there's the promised Messiah. Look at him. He's majestic, he's powerful, he's awesome. awesome. Wouldn't say that. But the next time he comes, and he could come at any time. The next time he comes, the Bible says that every knee shall bow and tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Both believers and non-believers alike will say the same thing. He's the King of Kings, wonderful counselor, mighty God, the everlasting father, the Prince of Peace. He is awesome. Now he talked about that some two or three days before he was crucified and resurrected. And this is what he says. In Matthew chapter 25, this is verse 31. Listen to this. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, he's going to come in radiance and splendor and power and might. He's going to be shining like the sun on the Mount of um, Transfiguration. He was shining like the sun, so radiant, so bright, so brilliant that even the best sunglasses in the world could not um, take away the light that was emanating from his body. He appeared in glory, but then he went back down the mountain and he looked just like a normal everyday dude. And what Peter, James, and John had then was a picture, a visual of what Jesus is going to look like when he comes back. And so it says, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and radiance, power, and splendor, and all the angels with him, when Christ comes back, he's going to send angels to the four corners of the world, the four winds, and gather both believers and non-believers and bring them before the throne of Jesus. And this is what it says. When the Son of Man comes in glory with all his angels, then he will sit on his glorious throne. And so we will behold the face of Christ. There'll be no doubt in everybody's mind who he is and why he came. And I believe the word that we will use, not only the, the wonderful words that we identify in Scripture that, that we will say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, but I believe it'll be the same word that we use when Jesus comes back that we're going to use for the Niagara Falls tomorrow. Awesome. And forever we'll be with the Lord. And all the problems of this life and all the problems of your life will be gone. And every difficulty will fade away and every sickness will disappear, and there will be no more death. And then our Savior will take us home to be with him forever, where forever we can behold his face and together say in unison forever and ever, our Lord is awesome. 
Let's have a word of prayer. Father, thank you so much for the incredible love that you've given us through your son. And we love you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, that you came the first time to save us. And because you died and rose again for us, we know that through repentance and faith in you, Lord Jesus, we have forgiveness and the promise of eternal life and a better day to come. We look forward to the time, Jesus, when you return in your glory, in your power, in your might, when you send out the four angels and bring all people before your throne and you'll be seated on your throne and we will behold your face forever and we can say together how awesome you really are. So thank you, God, for this time um, and thank you for this blessing of being together tonight and to help us to get to our destination now safely. Thank you again for all you do for us and continue to do for us. You indeed are awesome. In Jesus' precious name, we pray all these things. Amen. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Pastor Dave Allman is the pastor of Mount Hope Church in Boulder, Colorado. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.